Hey, question one is just about a house and Stephen's got four devices and they're just asking you uh, what device, what would you have to do to the devices, what are the cables needed, etc. in order to get them all linked up. So, three marks here. First thing, every single one of these devices circled, they need a network interface card, okay? So each device requires a network interface card. You can get wireless ones or you could get wired ones. After that, you want to then connect each of these devices to either a hub or a router. Okay? Now remember, a router allows one network to connect to another network. Okay, So that's for your second mark. And for your third mark, it's actually how to go about connecting these devices to the router or the hub. You're either going to use wired, which it might be copper or optical fibre, chances are if it's in a house it's going to just be copper uh, or you can do the wireless method and that's just using Wi-Fi ok so that's your three marks so one for network interface card another one for then talking about you have to connect them to a hub or a router and then, then another mark for how you're actually connecting them second question is Stephen's looking at using some wireless technology one advantage and one disadvantage ok so Advantage of using wireless, okay, so just think about your Wi-Fi, if you've got it at home, it's actually it makes your devices portable so you can easily walk around with them when they're still connected to the network. It is a lot easier adding another device onto a wireless network and you could also say that it's actually a lot tidier, you don't have all these wires that somebody might trip over. Disadvantage are, well, they don't have as high a bandwidth as a supposed to a cabled solution, but also that they're a lot more vulnerable to hacking. Okay, so it's a lot easier to hack into a wireless network than it is a wired. Now, when you log on on this computer at school, you're using a client server network, and what you'll find is the reason why we use that is because one of the rules is it allows you to access the network. So therefore you can access the printers attached to the network. You can also access all your files. So whenever you see, save something to my documents, it's actually saved into the server. So you can access all your documents from any of the clients in the school. Right, so question three. State one reason why you'd use one of these as opposed to a peer-to-peer -peer network. So the network, if you've got a couple of computers networked at home, that's peer-to-peer. And the reason why you would do that is it's a lot more secure because you have to have your own logins and passwords. Okay, so nobody can access the network in the school with a username and password. And since you save everything into your My Documents, which is saved in a server, you can then central back up all that data. Okay, here's a wee picture, and we're just trying to see well what's that describing. So all these computers throughout the world are connected to each other, and that is known as the internet. Hey, question 5, they're just talking about two types of cables, quartz and fibre optic, explain over a larger distance why fibre optic cables more suitable. It says here, well data doesn't degrade so over a longer distance with fibre optics, okay, so with copper, the actual quality of the signal and the data going over that copper cable, it does actually disintegrate over larger distances. It's also cheaper with fibre optic over a larger distance because copper's pretty expensive. Okay. And Jessica logs in passwords at a date. Why is it going to ask for more than once when you actually change your password? And that's just to verify that you what you've typed in is actually what you thought you did. So they asked for it twice just in case you made a wee mistake first time round. And the last one, when Jessica enters a password, it appears as a wee dot or a wee star, and that just stops other folks seeing what you've typed in, so nobody can be looking over your shoulder seeing what you've typed in in your password. And that is your homework for this week.